There are times when a man can relax, and this is definitely one of those times. Noel Gallagher, Noel, thanks very much for coming in. It's a pleasure, always. Excellent. Now, you were here last year. I was. A bit with Weller. Yes. Uh, Proud Mary. Mm. And now you're here with your own band. Slightly more stressful? As you can see, I'm very tense. <laughs> I'm very tense. Um, I enjoyed last year, because I, I seen Coldplay for the first time. Uh, they, they blew me away last year. Mm. Um, and obviously the weekend was great. I'm looking forward to doing this, because we haven't, we haven't played it for nine years. Okay. Thought, is it nine years? Nine something, years, yeah. Yeah, something yeah. stupid like that. So, it's going to be monumental, I can tell you, man. We're on fire at the minute, so it's going to be good. To stay away from music if I can, you're quite well known for, you know, talking about good shoes. You know, shoes maketh the man and all shoes that. Shoes maketh the man. Um, I was reading Time Out magazine, uh, I think it's the current issue actually, and you're on the cover oh, yeah. before the Finsbury Park shows. You were wearing sandals. <laughs> which yeah. I was, I must, I never took you for a sandal, man. No. But the reason, I don't know, I don't know, it was obviously a very sunny day and I was feeling quite bohemian. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't know why. I, Liam did actually point it out and he yeah. said, You look like fucking Fran from Travis with your sandals on. Mm -hmm. And I said, I was better than looking like Dougie, eh? Hey! I haven't seen Liam at all backstage. It's Liam's in a hotel in a darkened room getting into character. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Well, it's always a good character for the crowd to see, at least. Um, after this, are you doing any more festivals? We're going to a festival in Dublin, which apparently, I've just been told, it's been raining for two days and the stage is about to sink. Mm. So hopefully they'll call it off and we won't have to go. Do you still get the money if they do call it Absolutely. off? Absolutely. <sighs> you've kind of been here, how long have you been here today so far? I've only been here about an hour. Right, so you haven't really had a chance to see many bands. <laughs> to be quite honest with you, there's not that many bands I'd like to see, apart from the Black Rebel Motorcycle Club and Primal Scream. Was there a rumour going about that you'd kind of um, helped to decide on some of the bill? <laughs> no, we got Proud Mary on. Yeah, that was no, it. They're nice lads, actually. Great lads, good lads. Yeah. Hey, um, listen, if I had about any any choice over that bill, fucking Star Sailor wouldn't be here for a start. Mm -hmm. that's, that's for starters. You, you don't want to come here on a uh, Saturday night and start fighting with Star Sailor. You no, know, no, no, not at all. Not at all. Hey, listen, man. I, you know, I hate everyone. Yeah. You know. I'm cool with it, man. Mm. I, come, I come walk through this backstage area and think, I don't like anybody here. Mm. You know, nobody likes me, so that's cool. But the singer from Star Sailor seems to have got quite offended by Really? This. Yes. Did you, what did you say to him, can I ask? He, he claims that I called him a cock. Uh-huh. And um, he, he came up to me while I was doing an interview and said, did you call, why did you call me a cock? And I said, it's because you are one, probably. Right, okay. And he's gone off in a huff. So but you see, these, these student boys, you know what I mean? It's like, I don't know, they go to these public schools and that, you know, they've. Eating their custard, mm. you know, mm. hijinks in the showers and all that. <laughs> you know what I mean? God. Well, I never went to yeah. a public school, but oh, well. um, but I, I, might, I, might got, I, I might have to go and have a word with him later because he's obviously very upset about it. But you know, I wouldn't. I wouldn't I'd probably, What's I'd stress, though? For goodness' sake, you've it's got... not stress. Well, look. I know, I know, but, but, I, I but apparently I he said something on stage before you see, so I want to find out what he said first before before I go and have a word. If, 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 it was, if it was in any way insulting, I still have to bring my younger brother with him, mm -hmm. and then there'll be feathers flying. You know, you're talking about years gone by, and you were, you know, it was all this big thing about people over 30, and you're over 30. I'm 35. You're hardly old man withers, though. You know, you surely have got a lot of music still left in you. Yes, I know that, but what I meant by... what I, let, let me clarify this, because it, it never really got mm. clarified in, in print. It's... What I meant to say was that you can't keep writing songs like Rock and Roll Star about being young mm -hmm. and free when you're 35. Mm -hmm. You can't write the same songs with the same level of passion and the same level of uh, youthful integrity as when you're 21. That's what I meant, and that's mm -hmm. what I meant by saying, how can you possibly be as good as you are when you're 25 when you're 35? People get offended by this, but no. that's just the truth. No, you know? taking out of context, I know exactly what you mean. It's the truth. I, know, I, I actually said uh, you might be able to relate to this. Now, it was in, actually in the Sun, my first ever appearance in the Sun uh, newspaper, Dominic Mohan's column. Um, I was quite surprised, but I said something about how Tea in the Park, great lineup. I think it's the best lineup uh, of all the festivals. You know, a lot of good mm. bands playing. And uh, in the Sun, it was like, Anderson says Glasgow for grannies. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> and I was just, and it's, the whole press is good. Um, well, I don't get much, you know, it's certainly yeah. not as much as you do, but no. oh, it's, it's a quagmire. It is. Absolute quagmire. It is. it is. It's a swamp of lies, mistruths and innuendo, which is what it is. But you know, get your fucking waders on and wade through it, man. Add to oh, it. Great. That's oh, what absolutely. I do. Add to it. I'm well up for starting a few rumours around here this weekend, just you know, just on the way out and that's yeah. we leave, yeah. You know, singer from No Doubt's a boy and all that. Really? Oh, no, right. I, on, on, Come on. I honestly oh, thought she rumor. was a nice looking lady. That's the rumour I'm going to be spreading around. So listen, you didn't see me. 
Yeah, and can I just take back what I said about Gwen Stefani being beautiful? Because if she is a boy, I'm not that way inclined. But anyway, can I just take back what I said about Gwen Stefani being a boy? Because I think she is beautiful. I'm a liar. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, you should go away and do what preparation. I should. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go and get into a darkened room mm -hmm. and get into my character. Yeah. What and is your character? My character is two bananas, an apple, and a barocca and some vitamin B. <laughs> if you believe that, you fucking literally believe anything.